Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be smoking two racks of beef short ribs on the Lone Star Grills offset cabinet smoker. Let's get going. And here are those racks of ribs, just beautiful. Both are four bone and just look at that marbling. Very excited about this. I've had Wagyu brisket, obviously Wagyu steaks, never Wagyu beef ribs and this is my favorite barbecue right here. I, I like this. I'll take this over brisket any, any day of the week. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the uh, fat caps. We do not need the fat caps on there. There we go. This is actually some pretty deep fat, as you can see. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. It's all the silver skin's gone, which is great. Do the other rack off camera, then we'll get to the seasoning. Here the ribs are all trimmed, looking good. Leaving the silver skin on the back. You don't want to remove that on a um, beef short rib. It helps kind of hold the meat on. Worcestershire sauce, I'm use this as, as a binder, but also it is just packed with so much umami flavor. It'll definitely, definitely enhances the flavors. Some SPG that I mixed up Go pretty heavy on this. All right, I'm gonna allow this to sweat through while I get all the cameras resituated. Meet you guys at the pit. I'm gonna be running my smoker between 250 and 275. Right now we're at 265 degrees Fahrenheit. And those are the temperature ranges that this cooker loves to run at. It's just going to be a very carefree cook for me. I'm burning live oak, which is California's equivalent to Texas post oak. Very, very similar flavor, very similar tree actually. Other than that, um, not going to be concerning myself with the temperatures of the beef ribs. We're cooking to tenderness. So once these guys are at probe timber, 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 tender, we'll be pulling them. And normally on, again, this is my first time cooking the Wagyu beef ribs. I don't know if there's going to be a, a difference in time, but usually you're looking at about a five hour cook. Let's load up the pit. Not really loading it up. Let's put the two racks on. And there we are. I will be checking it probably about two hours. If they're starting to look a little dry, I'm gonna spritz them with just regular old water. I'm not using any juices or anything like that, just water. Um, then it's, again, just checking for tenderness. I'm expecting it to be close to five hours. So I'll keep you guys posted. We're at the two hour mark now. I'm going to take a peek. I know I'll probably have to spritz these ribs. Already getting some really, really good pullback. Just a little bit of spritz here. Nice color. So I'll check them again in about 30 minutes just to see if they need another spritzing. Other than that, it's just a waiting game on tenderness. Um, I'll probably probe them for tenderness at the four hour mark or so, but they're looking really good. Okay, we are about five and a half hours in. These ribs are done. I checked them just a little while ago for tenderness and they're ready to pull, so check them out. So again, I'm not concerning myself with the temperature. I'm looking at the tenderness. And these things are going in just beautifully. Just look at the pullback. Both of these racks. Let's pull these guys off. Look at that. Uh. So now I'm oh, 
smell really good. I'm just going to let these rest a while, and then we're going to slice them up, give them a try. And here they are, <laughs> all rested up and ready to eat. I'm excited here. Let's give these a try. You know, I was resting them in the, in the house, in the kitchen there, and uh, now my house smells of barbecue beef ribs. Like I said, this is a first for me, eating, a wag oh. eating Wagyu beef ribs. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Mmm. I really, really hope you guys can see that smoke ring. That is just amazing. So beef ribs are rich anyway. Wagyu beef ribs, incredibly rich. I don't think I mentioned this in the video. I bought these from Grand Western Steaks. And I have a, if you click on the link down below, there's a discount code. So I suggest using it. These are insane. Oh, I have nothing bad to say about this cook at all. The pit ran like it always runs perfectly. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm speechless. These uh, beef ribs are insane. Anyway, guys, think I can eat all this? I don't think so. Th they're rich. I mean, I'm thinking one, two bones and I'm, I'll be done with this uh, for dinner tonight. But thank you for stopping by. Keep those suggestions coming in. If you're not subscribed, please take a moment, subscribe, thumb it up if you like it. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers.